What's going on guys, it's Wafers, and welcome back to the Newport County Road to Glory Career Mode. It's episode 68, and today we are going to be going through the last game of the Premier League season as we take a look real quick at the calendar. Our last three games of this season are going to be against Wolves in the Premier League, against Manchester United in the FA Cup Final, and against Chelsea in the Europa League final. So we have a chance at doing the treble, but before uh, we get into that, let's just take a look at the table, remind you guys what is at stake in this last game. So as you can see, with one game remaining, we uh, have 84 points. We are level with Manchester United. We hold the goal difference. So if we win, we will win the Premier League. Now, uh, we play Wolves. Wolves are in seventh place. They're a pretty uh, decent team, and I believe Manchester United face Derby County, and Derby County are down in last. So, we are basically, we need to win. If we don't win, we will probably lose out on the Premier League title. Derby only have one win all year, so it's unlikely that they play Manchester United tough. Um, and that's what's on the line, right? If we beat Wolves, we will be Premier League champions back-to-back -back seasons and have a chance at the treble. So as we get into this one, we are going to have to switch around the lineup to uh, account for Ibrahim Marsh being out. So uh, I believe we'll leave things how they are. We'll just flip Thomas for Andia in this game. And then I think I also want to um, bring Vox onto the bench for Thomas. So we'll go with this. Um, our lineup will be Shepard in goal, Conlon and Mephem as center backs, Richards on the left, Williams on the right. Then we have Andia and Coughlin in the midfield with Bennett in the cam position, Rollins left wing, Hopkins right wing, and Telford up front. They'll be going with a five at the back formation, Leno in goal, Elvedi, Zubeldia, and Todibo as center backs, Semedo at right back, Vinagre at left back, uh, Shumeni and Golivin at center mid, Neto at the left wing, Kulusevski at the right wing, and Malin up front. It is going to be an extremely tough game. That's a very good team. But to win the Premier League title, we will have to beat Wolves. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go, getting into this game up against Wolves. And uh, once again, it will come down to the final day in the Premier League, needing a victory to win the title. Uh, last episode, Man U dropped four points, allowed us back in the race, and now we control our own destiny. As the boys take the field in the final game, we are at home for this one which means we have the chance to win the title at the Rodney Parade, which would be incredible to win the title on the final day at home. I'm feeling good about the squad. As you can see here, just a quick reminder, we are level, we have the goal difference, and uh, we need to win, obviously. That's been said before. You can see Rollins right there. Uh, he's been a big player this season. We're gonna need him to step up big in this one as well as Bennett. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get this one underway. We'll start off just Bennett out to Williams. Just try to get our footing in this game. Wolves with that five back are pretty tough to play against. Uh, you know, getting opportunities against them can be a little difficult sometimes because of the way their team is set up. Those three center backs always being there. But hopefully we can get Telford in behind on a run, splitting, uh, splitting the gaps between the center backs and the wide backs, hopefully. See if maybe we can go down this right side, back inside. We pass it back to Andia, get it into Bennett. No space over there, but Telford is free right here. 
get around the defender. Couldn't get around him. We're going to have to go back out. Give it back to Andia. Try the other side now. And nothing doing over here either. They're very compact, as you can see, when they get back. Oh, Bennett might be through. No, couldn't get it to him. Todibo just picking that one out. And now we'll have to... Oh, Hopkins wins it back. Nice. Let's see if we can maybe get a little counter going here. Bennett in behind. Oh, the pass is too heavy from Telford. Had an opening there. Just couldn't get it to Bennett. But good signs early in the match. We've had the first two attacks, so pretty good so far. I have to defend this. Neto is going to be an issue down this left-hand side. Hopefully, Williams can contain him. Daniel Mallon also an issue all the time. It's very good, especially in career mode. He gets to be, at this point, he's probably close to in high 80s overall. But Williams with a great tackle there. And we'll get this one up. Oh, gives it away. Coughlin gets intercepted by Golovin. Oh, but they give it right back to us. And let's see if we can get on a run here. Uh, Telford not uh, Telford made that run, but a little too late. Couldn't get the ball to him. Try to go inside to Bennett. Just not enough, not enough opportunity to get the ball anywhere. Try to go around this side. Pass it back in. Bennett. Maybe? Yes! Bennett scores. A nice shot across goal. Very tight angle there. Into the top left corner. And Captain Bennett coming through with a clutch goal. That is an extremely tight angle there. Between the defender and the goalkeeper, I think. Wow. Put it into a window right there. Right between the goalkeeper's hand. And the defender's knee, he slides it through. That is his 19th goal of the season. It puts us up 1-0. Now we just have to hold this lead. Getting that one before halftime is very important as well. Just to be able to have a goal going into the end of the first half. It means that we don't have to push too hard coming out of halftime. We can just play our normal game. Hopefully we can add on another one, but we don't have to go hyper aggressive. Just have to play solid, solid defense as they pass it around back here. Kulisevsky into Golovin, and we're gonna get that. Let's see if we can get on another counter real fast. Hopkins up to Bennett. Problem is Semedo is more than pacey enough to uh, catch up with Rollins, even though Rollins is very quick uh, himself. We don't really have the pace to, to go past them. Although Bennett might be in again. Can he get around to a Debo? No. Nice tackle there. So Meadow keeps it in. And we're going to try to get this ball back here before the end of the first half. The ref should blow his whistle, and there is the whistle for the end of the first half. Uh, good first half. We score first in this one. Get the early lead. Now we just have to hold it, make it happen in the second half to win the Premier League. All right. So into the second half we go. And we have this 1-0 lead. Right now we are Premier League champions. We just need to hold it. Hopefully we can get the clean sheet in this game. But I wouldn't... Uh, be opposed to scoring another goal in this just to give us the best chance give us an insurance goal so if anything were to happen we have a little buffer but for right now we just need to play solid d bennett gets the ball right there nice tackle let's try to work this left side with Rollins. he hasn't really been involved and uh we couldn't get it through to him right there Semedo is just really tough on him 
Might have opened up some space here, though. Uh, Bennett couldn't slide it through to Coughlin. That was close, though. Let's see if we need to get back here. Williams, get back into position, and then we'll pull Coughlin back. Conlin, nice. And we'll get that up to Rollins on this side. Let's try to work this one all the way out to Richards. We're able to get it there inside to Bennett. Through Telford. Can he finish it? No. The defender beats him there. Wow, that's tough. We, I might make a substitution. I'm, I might just leave the team the way it is. Right now it's performing very well. So we might just not mess with it. But Matondo could help here. Um, I might save him though in case we need another goal. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we can just hold this clean sheet as they as Wolves come forward again. Andy is there. Having him in that midfield is just uh, so nice as we give the ball away. That's a tough giveaway. And nice interception by Williams. Having Andy in this midfield is really nice. Obviously, I would love to have Marsh instead. But... Uh, Andia is great defensively, so he does bring some quality there. Uh, it, you know, it's not a terrible replacement. Obviously, a step down, but not the worst. So, coming forward here, we can go over to Williams. I'm not gonna cross this. Uh, I'm gonna bring it back out. Just work it around. I'm hoping that maybe as I work the ball across the box there we go we have a little seam here Telford with a stop cut inside oh it gets blocked but Bennett over to Rollins Adam Rollins cut inside no can't he can't, he just can't get past Semedu over there Semedu is just all over him on that left side it's been pretty much Adam Rollins has been pretty much shut down which is almost never happens where he just can't get into a game they're going to try to come down this side to Kulusevsky. Oh, and Andia is back in the left back covering for Omar Richards, who came forward in the attack. Nice tackle, though. Only a couple minutes left here. I think we're just going to try to ride it out with the team we have. Nice. Okay, we have it. Andia, get it up. If we can get on a counter here, we might be able to just end the game, run it out. I don't want to make any bad passes here. Leave that one to Richards. Oh, we found some room here. Telford for the game, for the Premier League. Dom Telford. He's been here since day one. He's the only player still around from the first season. And Dom Telford may have just sealed the Premier League title on the final day. A signature left-footed shot into the side netting puts us up 2-0. And wow, what a goal there by Telford. 89th minute, his 25th of the season. And we go up 2-0. Late on, this one looks like it's going to be in the bag now. Just a couple minutes left until we win back-to-back -back Premier League titles here. Great work from the squad in this one. And that should be about it. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. And there we go. The ref blows the whistle. And we have done it on the final day. We win the Premier League title with a victory over Wolves. 2-0. Telford sealing it. Bennett starting it off. Two of our most important players in the entire series. Uh, Bennett has, was one of the first prospects we brought up. Telford has been here since day one. He's the only player left from the original squad. He's just absolutely incredible, carries us every single year. And it will be Bennett to lift the Premier League trophy in Wales at the Ronnie Parade. There it is. Bennett lifts it high.
and we are Premier League champions for the second season in a row. Back to back Premier League titles and both of them have come down to the last few games. Uh, last season we also needed help getting back into the title race and this season we needed help getting it back into the title race but we won our last I believe four or five games in the Premier League and we were able to get the title snatch it away from Manchester United and one third of the treble is completed all right guys so that is going to be it for this episode of the Newport County Road to Glory career mode I really hope you enjoyed this live uh, episode for the last day in the Premier League we are Premier League champions and real quick let's just check to see if Manchester United uh, did win their final game they did so we did need to win that final game to win the Premier League title we did do it and up next will be the FA Cup final and then the Europa League final as we go for our treble. But as I said, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys soon with a new episode.